In this game, it was bad enough that uh, the Ravens just got absolutely beat down. And you could tell their, their confidence was hurt. Their, their hearts were hurt. But now, their, their lineman, the player, Patrick McCarry, he actually got hurt in this game. Let's read the report from Ian Rappaport. As if we haven't lost enough already. Patrick McCarry suffered a high ankle sprain yesterday. Source said he's seeking more feedback and the team is assessing its options heading into the bye week. But another injury on the O-line. So, we get clarity on Patrick McCarry. Um, and we see that it's a high ankle sprain. And those are not good. Because they can take a while, they can linger. It's not usually a, oh, okay, let me take off a week or let me take off a couple of weeks and I'll be, f no. Those things usually take some time. Uh, Jeff Zrebic, he said they take several weeks to heal, so Ravens will likely be forced to turn to their third starting right tackle this season. Makari was one of the bright spots, too. And yeah, that, that's true because the original starting right tackle was Alejandro Villanueva. The next right tackle was Patrick McCarry, and then yesterday they brought out Tyree Phillips uh, to start at right tackle for the Ravens. And again, uh, we're making another video on another significant injury that the Ravens face this year. Now, y'all know me that with, with Patrick McCarry, I was, um, I was somebody that was very worried about him going to right tackle. I was scared. I felt like he was too short. I felt like his arms were too small. I'm like, man, I don't know about that one, y'all. I really don't. But he went over there, and he looked like he'd been playing right tackle for a minute. He had been holding it down. And he had been going up against some really, really good talent, too. And, of course, the talent was going to get that much better as the season went along. But now Patrick McCarry, he's going to be out uh, for the foreseeable future. Uh, how long will that be? No clue. But you got to think that the Ravens will end up putting him on a short-term IR. Uh, they did just sign uh, James Carpenter. So we'll see if that has... Because this, this, this offensive line has been shuffled like crazy. They've been shuffled, man. Because they just... They're they going through it. They're going through it. And they've struggled... All year, so now it's going to be another offensive line getting together, another group having a jail together. So that makes it that much tougher. Um, this bye week, I mean, Ravens do have this bye week to sort some things out to sort of just step back for a minute. You just got beat down. <laughs> so this, this bye week is coming at the right time. And I mean, either way, if we would have won the game yesterday, we would have still said it's coming at the right time because we would have went, went into the bye week six and one. But after the beat down, like, it is definitely coming at the right time because you, you get to you, you got beat down and now you can sort of lay low for a little bit, try to get out the spotlight for a little bit and, and fix some at least try to fix some issues that you have. But this creates another problem um, for the Ravens, another problem because of injuries. Now. Uh, they did have Brandon Knight, but, of course, we know the story with that. Brandon Knight was in, and then Brandon Knight was out. They claimed him, and he's somebody that could play tackle. But they claimed him, and he said no. Uh, he said he was dealing with his uh, mental health stuff. So he said he was going to step away from football this year. Uh, so that's that, because that, that could have possibly been somebody that they tried at right tackle. I'm not sure how good or bad he was at tackle, because I don't know anything about his game. I'm naive to it. Uh, but that could have been another option. But it's looking like it's, it's going to be Tyree Phillips. It's going to be the Tyree Phillips show. So the thing about Tyree Phillips is that um, yesterday he got thrown into the mix. Uh, but next week, well, yeah, or in two weeks uh, against the Vikings, It'll be, I would expect, a better showing from him. Reason being because, and I expect him to be the starting right tackle moving forward. Um, but I would expect a better showing from him because he will have known that he'll be the starter. Um, so we'll see what goes down with that. Uh, David Sharp, um, I'm not sure if he's an offensive tackle or if he's a guard. Or if he's a swingman, or if he's some somebody that could just play some different positions, I'm I'm not sure 
uh, exactly what he is. But that's another option. They called him up for yesterday's game. Um, wish I wish he could have played defense. <laughs> Oh, this offensive line, man. Uh, this has been something that we've been talking about offensive line for the past couple of years. And even before these injuries, uh, it was still probably the biggest question mark on this team uh, this year, even going into this year. It was a big question mark. Yeah, they had signed Kevin Zeitler. That was true. Then they signed Alejandro Villanueva at the last second. Um, Ronnie Stanley was coming back from injury. We were hoping that there would be no setbacks with him. Uh, as far as left guard, we were wondering who was going to win that spot. Then it ended up being a mix of Tyree Phillips. Ty Tyree Phillips was the first left guard, remember, in the Raiders game. He was the original left guard. And then it was Ben Powers, and then it was Ben Cleveland. Then they kept doing a little rotating thing, and I, I just didn't understand that. Then center, we had questions. All right, how is Bradley Bozeman going to do as a center? How is he going to do making that move from guard back to his original position at center, which he played before at Bama, so then at right guard again, Zeitler, and then, of course, Alejandro. Um, so we, we just were wondering, and especially one of the biggest questions going into the season, not even a preseason, but the season, was how are these guys going to jail? Because they haven't, because first in the, in the preseason, for the first, what was it, three weeks of the preseason, so for the first two weeks, the whole offensive line, they had never played together. They practiced together, but they hadn't played together. So then... And what was scared, what scared me personally, I know it scared some other people too. And I was like, hey, it is just one series though. It was just one series. But their very first, the very first time that they had all played together, the very first time, was in preseason week three. It was all the starters. They played one drive together. That was unfortunately the drive where J.K. Dobbins got hurt. Uh, and I believe it was Bradley Bozeman that missed the block, but it, 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 it happened. King just put it on one person, it happened. It was just an unfortunate, unfortunate circumstance. But um, on that drive, the first drive that they played together against the Washington football team, I believe, they were allowing all this pressure to get through. And I was like, hold up. There's no Chase Young. He's on the sideline taking pictures. There is no um, Montez Sweat. They're like the, the Washington football team, they didn't have their starters out there. But we had our starting offensive line out there. And their backups were getting through. And I was like, oh, I don't know if that's more a testament to their backups because their backups are so nice. Or that's just saying that our offensive line is a big yikes. So that was something that was worrisome going into the regular season. And it proved to be true. The offensive line was just, ugh, it was rough. It was very rough. Um, man, and you know what's sad is it's sad having seen, um, because I think we, we we saw, I believe we saw Gus Edwards get some carries in preseason. I'm pretty sure, and he looked good. And then, of course, we saw J.K. Dobbins, but, man, just thinking, I think they, they could have they made better out of our offensive line than what we have now. And a lot of that is just because they're familiar with the offensive line. They're a lot more familiar, obviously, than the guys that we have now. But anyway, that's beside the point. Um, the offensive line, it needed work. And, and we knew this going into the season. We knew this before the season. We knew this going into the season. And during the season, we, it's evident. So now with the injuries, again, Stanley gone for the year. Ben Cleveland, he's out. Bradley Bozeman, this bye week is good for him because, again, yesterday they said he had a bad back. So if he had a bad back yesterday... Uh, I was saying this in the post game thoughts video that was his back to the point where he a, a not one hundred percent Bradley Bozeman is better than a one hundred percent Colon Castillo, and and shout out to Bradley Bozeman because he's been good. We haven't had have we had one bad snap this year? I don't think so. And, and we remember last year. I mean, oof, ugh, yeah. Um, but that's something I was thinking about. Like with, with his back, was it? To where obviously he played through it, um, but was it to where he he would be better? He would have been a better option than Colon Castillo, or but that just something to think about. Um, but anyway, uh, the offensive line has been is it's been rough this year. So now we got another blow to the offensive line, and um, 
it's like with the Ravens. Like I, I know a lot of people been like, oh yeah, trade for O line, trade for O line, trade for O line. But it's like, I don't know what what position are you gonna trade for? Like right now, you could trade for a right tackle, um, but I mean, left tackle been struggling too. Like Alejandro, like yeah, he, he filled in and he back to his natural position, left tackle for Ronnie Stanley since he been out. But it's it's been up and down like that, man. It's been up and down. Um, now I think somebody made a really good suggestion about the offensive line because you know Ravens they've been more pass happy recently. Um, so with uh, the offensive line, that doesn't really give them a chance to be too physical. Like when when you don't run the ball and you can't run the ball, that that doesn't give your O line a chance to be your O line. Because if you're running the ball, then the offensive linemen, they could go run at defenders and go knock them down. But when you're passing heavy, then all they, they just got to sit there and protect. They got to wait for guys to come at them. So that makes it that much harder. Uh, so that's just something to keep in mind as the Ravens move forward this season. Will they possibly incorporate the run a bit more? Uh, now, to do that, to, to be successful at it, it takes the offensive line. It takes the, the right running backs, too. So I know the name Marlon Mack has been floating around Ravens fans for the longest. They've been talking about him before the Colts game. They've been talking about him after the Colts game. They've been like, oh, we should get Marlon Mack. Just give him to us, Colts. Um, so, and, and the Colts did put him on display in that Ravens game. They're like, ha-ha, see, he can run. Come on, give us your best shot. Give us your best draft pick. Um, but anyway, shout out to Patrick McCarry, man. I, I hope that uh hope that this thing has like some crazy healing to it. It only takes like a couple of days and oh I'm good now, y'all. Y'all ain't gotta put me on short term I y'all, I'm straight. Uh cause he has certainly throughout his career, like the way his career got started, he was an undrafted rookie free agent from I want to say Texas or is it Utah? I forgot where it was. But undrafted rookie free agent. And this guy, I believe he, well, what, what position did he play? Because I know he had to come in and fill in for Matt Skura at that Rams game. And they said that he had never played center before. So maybe he was a guard or maybe he was a tack. I forget. But he had never played center before. And he came in. And it was like Matt Skura was still there. It was like he was still there. Because I remember when Matt Skura went down in that Rams game one night football, I was scared. I'm like, oh, boy, here we go. Aaron Donald and them been quiet, but now, oh, boy, he about to get loud. Nope. And Patrick McCarry the rest of the way, man. He did his thing. Now, in the Titans game, he was getting a little bullied in there. But overall, he had a really good season filling in, especially when he wasn't expected to start, wasn't expected to really even play like that. But he filled in, and he did his job. And then uh, last year, he was sort of a, hey, Ravens, what y'all need me to do? Because y'all have some injuries. There's been some shuffling on the offensive line. What you need me to do? Oh, you need me to play guard? Okay, cool. You need me to play left guard, right guard? What a, I got you. you. Need me to be that extra offensive lineman on them jumbo package? Okay, cool. I got you. And then this year, it was the same thing. Oh, you need me to play guard? Play left guard, right? What, okay, okay, I'm cool with the Oh, Oh, you need me to play tackle? Oh. Okay, cool. All right, I got y'all. I got y'all. I'm going to give it my best. I'm going to give it a shot. Uh, I got you. And he's been playing excellent, but now nah, he's out. So we'll see how the Ravens respond. Um, and just, man, it's like, why, why all these injuries, man? And I remember the injury, too, because initially it didn't look bad. Initially the injury didn't look bad. When it was live, it didn't look bad. But then somebody, I forgot, I think it was a Bengals player or whatever. It didn't look malicious or anything, but he, like, pushed – he pushed somebody back. I don't know if it was Lamar. He pushed somebody back, and then that's when it looked like it got worse. Maybe it was McCarry. But it is what it is. Anyway, team keep it clean. Appreciate y'all. I guess this video just turned to more of a vent session. I mean, that's what it's been a lot, a lot, a lot with this, uh, all the injuries and stuff, and uh, especially coming off a, a beatdown like we took yesterday. It's, it's been a lot of venting. And this week, y'all, just let it all out. So team keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. And just like Patrick McCarthy is going to be for a while, I'm out.